is when you put in for these influencers and they all they all have like um, 10,000 followers, 100,000 followers. Um, once you keep consistently getting these influencers that have that many followers, that's what's going to come up on your feed. Because I took the first two to three months and I was going to each. Um, so I would go to like Canna Moms or Canna Dads mm -hmm. or um, different um, different hashtags that would bring up something that um, somebody would resonate with, with the product. And so I'd go on that and I would say, okay, this person has 10,000 followers and I would email them um, or I would message them if I couldn't message them. So, you know, sometimes you get that little bar up in the top that says you're not friends with this person. So you can't message them. So the way around that is to message them on one of their videos. So go like and follow. You're going to want to interact and get to know your influencers. So if you, so like I have one influencer that really wasn't sure what to do. And so I've been kind of walking her through it. Um, and she's been doing pretty well. Um, so I think it's just a matter of having that um, connection with them and get to know them on a personal level. So if you are thinking this person is going to be a good fit for the company, you're going to want to talk to them. So you're going to want to see, like, let's say this person is, um, okay, I have a chair sitting there and they are just, they know everything about chairs, right? So I'm going to want to talk to them about chairs because people want to talk about themselves. They also want to hear you talk about what they're interested in, right? So make sure the product goes back to what they're interested in. So does that make, does that make sense? Yeah, okay. So you're creating that bond. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at those profiles and look and see how many followers that they have. Um, I started small and then I also started, um, the people who have like 6,000 followers or like, 7,000, 8,000, look and see how fast they grew that. So if they grew that in a matter of months, you're going to want to jump on that bandwagon and plant that seed. You're going to want to say, hey, you got this many followers and you're going to be, people are going to want you for an influencer. So here I am saying, do you want to influence for my company? And then they say yes or no, or they don't answer. And if they don't answer, I say, um, this isn't a scam. I'm a real person. And so, and then I kind of try to hit them in the feels because then usually they answer and it's, it's, you know, people will be like, oh, you're weird, you know, but if you're consistent about it, they're going to answer you. <laughs> Either they're going to tell you no, or they're going to tell you yes. And most times they say yes, um, that I've gotten, oh my gosh, your cat is so beautiful. <laughs> okay. So um, you're going to ask questions, interact, and then you're going to send your script. Something that I found was that you need to, um, while you're getting to know these influencers, when they react back with you, you're going to know the ones who ask questions about the product and questions about the business. They're going to be the ones that you're going to send a long script to with all the stuff. The other people who have like ADHD, like me, you're going to, in the first if you don't catch me in the first paragraph, I don't, I'm not going to, I'm not going to talk to you. So do it based on the influencer, customize it to them. Um, and also never give them your code first. Um, because you're not going to know until they fill out that application and it goes through corporate if they filled out an application. So you don't want to be hustling and hounding on somebody who already filled out the application and they need that code to fill out the application. So they have to come back to you and say, hey, there's a code that I need and what is it? So then you know, and then you watch your email and then your email will obviously say they were approved or weren't approved. Um, there's also, okay, um, sorry. I have so many things, all the things that it, there is pretty exciting. Um, so I don't know if any of you have used the um, 
oh, what is it? The, the profile like boost thing, like you go in and you can pay to add something to the bottom of your videos um, that says like, go to my link or go to your page. Well, you can do that. So you can take your product and you can use the promote button. And that way you can get people to follow you more. So I went and I did a video and I, it, this was just today. So I don't have any of the um, results from it yet. But I did a video asking for influencers. Then you go in and you promote that video for like, if you want to just run the video for like a day, you can do that. And it's like five bucks. Um, and then that's how you get followers and more views. And then that algorithm picks it up and sends you more people of the same type. And then you just keep talking to them and getting more influencers. That's all. <laughs> I love that crystal. I mean, it, it's, it's, a, it's a great idea. I've never even thought about using the remote button because I've always just been like, oh, it's like a Facebook ad. And I don't know how to use yeah. those. So I don't want to bother with it. No, but now that you're just like, you know, it's just that simple as like, yeah, maybe it's two days a month that you're going to pay five bucks and promote one of your videos. Like, you yeah. know, that's on TikTok, right? That's on TikTok. And um, then the the other thing was, um, I'm not really, I'm not really like Instagram. I haven't really messed with a lot yet. So I'm really new to Instagram. Facebook is more like family stuff to me. So I like put stuff on there, but it's not like, it, it's not as open as TikTok. Um, but the other thing is, is these influencers going to ask you questions and you're going to want to know the answers because you don't want to lose their interest. It's like buying a car. You want to get that sale right now because you're going to lose that interest. And so don't be afraid to go out of your comfort zone and say, hey, I got this really awesome company. I think your content is awesome and, and talk in the way they are. So um, what I learned with my business with hypnosis is that you talk the way the person you're talking to is and be at their level and you create that bond with them. And that's, that's really it, is just creating a bond with somebody when it comes down to it. So it's pretty, it's pretty simple. Yeah, I agree with you. And I also think that like creating that bond and then showing your authentic self on your own platform and being consistent with that yep. is the other like key to it because there are going to be influencers that she, that you reach out to. And I'm sure there's been plenty, Crystal, that you reached out to who are just like either just on the cusp for the 10,000 or are not really like sure about the products yet. And they kind of, you know, they're, they're those people that have to see something six to 20 times before they're going to say yes or no, which is the average person, you know? So mm -hmm. they want to watch what you're putting up too. So that's the yeah. other part of it, right? And I think that's kind of where, uh, do you have any more things that you want to say about influencer stuff? Which I thought no, you were no, no. Um, oh. And well, the other thing was, is if you can get like one influencer a week, that's not really hard. You know, that's trying, that's, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty easy. If you're consistent, if you do like 10 to 20 emails a day, get your scripts, use the boards, the boards. Darnell and I were talking about that earlier today. The boards are put there to help us and it's all the information there. And so those scripts are there. If you all have scripts that you want to put in there so other people can use, that is perfect because you can go in and you can copy and paste, copy and paste. It takes 20 minutes to do all that. Yeah. I also think um, you can create your own boards too. Like I have all, I have my own like section on my boards app and it's called mobile moves and it's got all of my own personal scripts and it's got all of like my links, like everything is right there. And yeah. I was, you're, I know with Apple, like you're able to add it on your keyboard. So at the bottom, when you click that little world, it pops up with my boards app, I swear. There it is. And it pops up. And then all of my scripts are just right there. And all I have to do is click it and push the button. And then it types my script into the box. It's just like, it's amazing, y'all. It really is. And does it take some time to set up in the beginning? Yes. Does it take time to put systems into place? Yes. That's part of consistency. So I just want to like touch on consistency. 
I think that it is something that we all struggle with. I think that we all have kids, we all have jobs, we all have a hundred other things going on. And we've always put ourselves last. So we are used to putting ourselves last on this list. But you guys, you're never going to see results from your business if you keep putting it last. And you keep putting yourself last and your business falls into that category with you. So you put it last. You're like, okay, well, let me feed the kids breakfast and then I'll do this. Oh, well, let me, let me homeschool the kids and then I'll do this. But then you know what happens? All of a sudden it's 7 p.m. and you've done nothing. And now you're too tired to think of anything. And you're like, I'll just start again tomorrow. And then tomorrow comes and you do the same nonsense over and over again. Like I'm guilty of it. I know that I am. I said that to Crystal today. I'm like, sometimes I think I'm depressed. Sometimes I think I'm bipolar, you know, like, and she's like, oh my gosh, it's saying it's running out of time already. I don't understand why. Um, there's 19 minutes left. I don't understand why it's giving me that warning already. That's so stupid. If it ends like too soon, we'll all pop back on. I don't know why I just said that. It's just nervous. Um, but here's the thing that I want to talk about with consistency. I know it's hard to like maybe make three reels a day or TikToks a day. It is, it is hard. I can't do it. I can't like, I'm good for one. I'm good for one. I really am. But three is a lot. The people who are putting up three, those are the people who are going viral. Those are the people who are actually getting sales off of these other platforms, y'all. So when I sit here and I'm like, how come none of my videos are going viral? Bitch, if you're only putting up one a day, that's why you're not giving anybody the opportunity to see you and find you. And I'm talking to me when I say bitch, y'all. I'm not talking to you guys. I'm talking to myself. This is like just me talking to myself. Like one video a day isn't going to cut it, you know? But if you're somebody that is just like, I can't do all these other things, you can show up in your story. I'm going to tell you that. Showing up in your story, you can do that very easily. You can link your Instagram and your Facebook. You can Google that, figure out how to do that. I do everything, all my stories through Instagram and they automatically share to Facebook. The reason I do it on Instagram is because they have more fun tools. I do have a training that I did. Um, yes, you need to do those numbers if you want to see it fast. If you need, if you're somebody that likes that instant gratification, then you better hustle for the next 90 days and see where your business is. You'll be in a different place. But if you're somebody that's okay with the slow growth, then all right, post one video a day like me. Some days I'm like, I need that fast growth. And I have these seasons where I'm in it to win it, right? But like, there's other seasons where I'm just like, yeah, you know, and I get it. I really do. But I will tell you what I do every day. And it's show up in my stories every day, every day. My friend last week, my friend, John, I was on the phone with him and he started mocking me. He was like, what are you doing? And I was like, well, I'm getting ready to go live in my stories. He's like, what are you doing? Making your greens and putting your drops in it and then putting your scoop of your matcha. And he was like mocking me, you know, but he knows exactly what I do because I do it every day. And I was like, bitch, don't be jealous. You don't have greens in your system. You're just upset because you can't poop, you know? And he was just, he started laughing. But the reality is, is that he knows exactly what I'm doing because I'm doing it every single day and I'm consistent. I post five stories, like slides. Sometimes they're a live full minute. Most of them are at this point. Um, and I do it almost at the same time every day. So I can consistently show up at the same time every single day. I've trained my brain. And that is why stories work for me. And I think that like when I sit in bed at night, I watch stories. I don't know about you guys, but like I just scroll stories. And if you're that person too, and you're not posting in your stories, you're doing yourself a disservice. So if there's anything you're going to do, it's post in your stories every single day. Okay. Like commit to that. Commit to posting in your stories. Like at least three to five slides. You can post a picture of you in the morning, making your greens, taking your gold digger, taking your slim thick, whatever it is, you know, chat a little bit for one minute. And then the next slide, maybe post an infographic that's got the gold digger on it and the greens like info sheet and put some music with it. And then do a little question box that says, want, want more info? Drop your email. Guess what happens when they drop their email? You plug them into the audition and then you send them an email with the info on the greens. And you can do that very easily through your app. I'm not going to get through, go through that entire training tonight, but I can and will if everybody needs me to, but it's, that's a whole nother training in itself. But there's a nice flow that you can set up for yourself to be consistent. And 
we choose not to. We choose to let our excuses get in the way. We choose to let everything else trump the hour we need to spend on our business a day. You know what I did this afternoon? I hung up the phone with Crystal because Crystal and I were on the phone for a while talking about what we were going to do. And then I was like, how am I going to get on this live and do a live about consistency when I like sometimes I'm not very consistent myself. I like to be a uh, walk it like it, like you talk it type of person. So I sat down while my kid was at soccer practice. I was alone. I put in my earbuds. I put on some music. And I literally worked my business for one hour and 10 minutes. I set 10 minute timers and I worked my daily task list that I set for myself. And you know what happened? I plugged 14 emails into my audition. 14. Okay. Are they, are they signing up now? No. Are they going to sign up ever? Maybe. Maybe they will now because I plugged them into the audition. And I have my own little drip campaign that I plug people into for when I plug them into the audition as well. So they can kind of get a glimpse into who I am as a person. So I sat there and I did that. So here's my challenge that I'm going to give to everybody. I think that working in 30 day cycles and 90 day cycles is great. And that is like how marketing works. However, for all of us ADHD people, it does not work. It doesn't work. I can't commit to anything past 10 days. I just really can't. Honestly, like, Christy will tell you, I was going to see her in Vegas for six months. We had planned about me going, you want to know when I bought my ticket to Vegas? Three weeks before the trip, like three weeks before the trip. And that's just because life kept getting in the way. And I'm like, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. And I just kept putting off. Right. So like my thought is, is that if we stop trying to put things out so far and work in these big chunks and maybe just start working in these smaller chunks, because I know for me, I'm a hustler at the end of the month. I am. I'm like, a, I love to like light a fire in my butthole at the end of the month and have that end of month stress. And like, I don't know what it is about the chaos, but there's something about it. I thrive in the chaos, you know, that, that, that's a whole other story, but I thrive under chaos. And I feel like the last 10 days of the month, I am really, really work well. So I was talking to Amanda today and we decided that we're going to do a little giveaway. For the next 10 days, there's 10 days left in this month. So many things can happen in 10 days, y'all. You can come out of nowhere in 10 days and rank up and hit ranks that you didn't even know were like on your on your list, right? But you're gonna this is what you need to do. I will share this in all the chats. I think I already have, but I'll share it again or I'll bump it again. My daily task list. Okay. There is nine items on this daily task list. Okay. Nine. You need to do five of these tasks every day for the next 10 days and we're going to start a little runner's chat so like it's not going to be posted in every single chat we're going to start a separate little runner's chat if you want to be a part of this cool we're going to add you to the chat okay if you don't that's okay too but here's what we're going to do for the next 10 days you need to do five of these at the end of the day you need for the next morning check in with us show us the five that you did whether you like took it on your phone whatever however you kept track Okay, and when you have an entry for every 10 days, you're going to be entered to win this amazing Lisa Frank on the go blender. Look at how fun this thing is. It's amazing. Okay, it's like unicorn. It lights up. It cleans itself too. If you put some water and soap in it, you can take it on vacation with you. It's awesome. It's probably dead because I use it all the time and I haven't charged it in a hot minute. But we're giving away. Yes, I will send it to you. Bro. We're going to give away one of these at the end of the 10 days. So to be entered to win that, you need to do at least five of the daily tasks for 10 days. The whole point is, is that hopefully at the end of the 10 days, now we're going to start a new one and we're going to work in another 10 day cycle and we're going to give something else away at the end of 10 days. And if the first 10 days of the month don't work for you because your kids are on spring break, you could be like, I'm out. I'm going to dip out of this chat for the next 10 days. And then when you want to come back to the chat, you can move yourself back in 10 days later. If you're like, I'm ready to work the last 20 days. I want to be in on those challenges or you can mute the chat, whatever the case may be. Right. So like, I think that 10 days is where it's at. I think anybody can commit to 10 days. And here's the thing. If you can commit to 10 days, three times in a row, you just committed to 30 days. You created a habit y'all. Woohoo. That's the point of this. If you can commit to nine of the 10 day challenges in a row, that's 90 days. You're doing this shit on lock. Now you don't even have to think about posting in your story. You don't even have to think about like, like you're setting up your camera every morning, you're mixing your greens, you're putting your unicorn drops in, you're talking about if you had an amazing day, 
you're talking about the shitty things that happened in your day. Whatever the case may be, you're being authentic, you're being real, you're being yourself. And that's what's going to attract people to you. And they're going to see the changes in you. They are. They are. You know, some of these pictures I'm watching girls post, like their weight loss pictures, it's been a year and a half. They've been doing this for a year and a half. Don't get down on yourself if you haven't lost a ton of weight or you feel like your body hasn't changed. You will also look at yourself every single day and you don't see how much you're changing. You don't. You have to take those before and afters, you know, once every, I recommend doing it every 10 days. I do. I really do. See the way your body fluctuates. If you're getting your period, if you're not, like whatever the case may be. If you know you had a, you ate too much and you drank a bunch and like your body looked this way after you went on an alcohol bender for the weekend. There's so many great things that you can notice by just taking pictures of yourself every 10 days too. 